Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick explanation of what your laptop keyboard is capable of doing with all these keys that you have. So we're not going to go extensively through them but we are going to give you a basic guide of what they can do. So on a laptop keyboard your keys do a lot more than just type letters and numbers. They also have tons of functionalities. And it's uh, very surprising how people don't use them or don't even know they exist. And as a tech guy, I've seen that over the years, and I'm pretty sure it's still the same thing. Most of you out there have no idea what these keys do. Well, first of all, notice that there's a FN key on your laptop. Every la modern laptop has an FN key. It appeared at some point uh, when laptops in, in the year 2000s, when laptops had more functionality suddenly. So this is FN key. It's a key that is actually the one you will press sometimes to activate certain functionalities that your laptop can do. For example, you have volume control. Some laptops have the volume controls simply pressing the uh, corresponding key will raise or lower the volume. Sometimes you have to do the combination, press the FN key and then press the key to have that uh, functionality happens. So for example on my laptop the volume control I have to press the FN key and the corresponding keys and you see here I either put my my volume up or down depending on what I'm doing. In my case it's F9 and F10. In other computers it's different as you see here volume controls here are F12, F11 on this one. It changes from laptop to laptop but they all have pretty much the same functionalities. Uh, there's screen brightness. For example, here we see a little sunshine and here we see uh, two keys in a row. That One is a sunshine and one is like um, the opposite. Basically, it's going to lower the um, amount of brightness. So if you have a laptop screen, you find it too bright or maybe it's not bright enough. Well, the function keys and the corresponding key, once again, depending on the laptop, I've seen some laptops where the brightness is on the arrow keys on the bottom right. Uh, it really depends on the model you have. So these are either alone or in combination with your FN key, which is function in the uh, laptop that you're using. Now, the other thing that you might ask is, yeah, but what F1 to F12, what does it do? I don't see sometimes, I, don't, I press and nothing happens. Well, there's different functionalities. The F keys are programmable keys. They do whatever the software tells them to do. Example, if I'm in my web browser, and every web browser is pretty much universal, if I press the F11 key, I become a full screen. And I'll have full screen browsing in my browser. If I press again, I come back to the regular window mode of the browser and continue using it as it is. Depending on the software you use, the F keys will do different things. Um, so you have to refer to the instructions or the information you get, depending on what software you use. If you have uh, if you use Microsoft Word, you'll see that the F keys do all sorts of things in Microsoft Word. Uh, F1 is often a universal help key. You press F1 and you get tips. For example, here I got Microsoft Edge tips for this case. If you have a, another piece of software, it will give you maybe the general help of that software. So there's different things and it really, really depends on the software you're using. Um, the Windows key is very simple. It is there to make your Windows menu appear. So sometimes if you're not sure, you're thinking, well, I don't know if my computer's frozen or not. One of the tricks that I use as a tech guy to see if it's not your, um, you know, sometimes it could be your mouse that's not responding, but not necessarily, the computer's not necessarily frozen. Well, I'll press a Windows key. If the menu pops up, you know that, oh, it's not frozen. It's just that for some reason, the, the you know, the, the mouse isn't working or the keypad on the, the, the laptop isn't working but um, it brings up your menu, your start menu, which is a, a useful way of you know doing it. So you can see all the little things like this. Of course, caps lock is the general uh, everything in uppercase. So if you press caps lock, you'll see often a little light that will pop up and say, hey, you're in caps lock mode. And you start typing, you'll see that you're in uppercase all the time. The shift keys put you in uppercase temporarily, as long as you hold them. Uh, you'll have the tab keys that will, in some cases, do, for example, in word processing, they'll give you a specific spacing 
sometimes it's a programmable space and you can actually set tabs and set it depending on you know how many spaces you want and of course uh, there's lots of little things that are very specific to your laptop so don't forget every laptop even though inside the box we never get manuals today because they're too expensive and they don't want to give us that manual online your laptop manufacturer has a PDF manual a full manual of what your laptop can do and it's different keys and function keys to learn more so head on to your manufacturer if it's an, an HP go to hp.com search for your specific model number and you'll see in the download section one of the items there will be the instructions manual you'll know how it works from A to Z and how the you know little intricacies of your laptop are and it's uh, something that's often nice to use so that's pretty much the very quick look at what to expect from your keyboard and like I said you can be very specific on a video like this because every model is different but they basically do the same thing if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching